Hi, I'm Gemma Walker reporting from the Maritime Roundtable in Montreal, Canada. We've just been part of a rally that's brought together global unions to protest against a free trade agreement that's trying to be pushed through here in Canada. And we've got some people who have joined the rally who aren't from ITF Union. So Priscilla, tell me why you're here today. Why have you been part of this? Well, we are here to contest the next signature of the CETA trade agreement because we believe it's really not a good agreement for the normal population. Uh, it's not good for workers, it's not good for environments, it's not good for uh, women, it's not good for many aspects of the n normal life, if you want. So that's why we are here. We are here to contest that kind of agreement and all other kinds of trades agreements that are going on today. And Sylvain, tell us a bit about your organization. How does it link with the, the trade union movement here in Canada? Okay. English is not very My English is not good. Okay. Bon. Uh, why I am against the free trade? Because I consider that it attacks all the rights of the people of the country, and especially here in Canada. It puts it in the hands of a small minority the control of our democratic rights. Tandis que, disons, au niveau démocratique, on devrait, nous autres, décider de nos droits et non pas quelques grandes, grandes, grandes industries, elles, puis grandes industrielles. Okay, C'est tout. Um, Pierre, tell us a bit about your reaction to seeing all these global unions here together to support Canadian colleagues. Well, that, that's an interesting question because I think uh, right now the free trade agreements and the battle against free trade agreements is a, a, a key moment of convergence between different sectors, between workers, between uh, community-based movements, uh, women's movements, ecological movements. Uh, as an organization, we're the Quebec Network on Continental Integration, which is a network has been working against free trade since the past 30 years, bringing together all those sectors. So we're very happy today to, to join uh, the battle of, of the seafarers Canada and uh, the workers of that sector uh, that joined here in Montreal for that conference, but also echo all the great mobilizations that ha are happening in Europe, in Germany recently last weekend and also in Austria, today in Bratislava to say to the trade ministers, our Canadian trade ministers is over there trying to save the deal, a deal that doesn't work for the people, that doesn't work for the planet. A, a deal that, uh, 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 according to the r most recent studies and research, that will impact jobs, loss of jobs, more liberalization of uh, public services, access uh, to uh, drugs, medicine will be uh, uh, downscaled. So uh, it, it's uh, uh, trade agreements that have broad impacts in our uh, visions of societies. We think that we need to bring back uh, key values like cooperation, complementarity instead of uh, competition between our people. So that's why we bring together all those battles, all those sectors with workers, defending good jobs, quality jobs, and also uh, uh, our, our vision for the future. And what do you think of the bagpipes? Of the what? Of the bagpipes. The bagpipes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it, this is a very Canadian thing, eh? So we're in Quebec, so it's not very uh, close to our values, let's say, because it's a, it's a sign of our heritage of domination and, and neocolonialism. But that brings me to that issue. Free trade right now is a new pro is, is projects uh, of neocolonialism, of, of big business against our values, our, our, uh, our projects, uh, our societies. So that's why we need to see those, stop those, those deals, stop the CETA, stop TTIP, stop Trans-Pacific Partnership. And that solidarity in action is key to that mobilization and to, uh, to bringing back the people on the planet first. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. Gemma Walker reporting from the Maritime Roundtable in Montreal, Canada.